Hey, what a privilege to be asked by Keith Farmer and Derek uh, to come and be a part of First Thursday by way of a video. Man, we're sorry, so sorry that we can't be down there at Straight Street having lunch together, having a time of fellowship together, and a time of Bible study together. And I know this is not the best substitute, but it's the best we can do today. So thank you. Uh, today we realize that all of us are dealing with a situation in our lives that is very, very difficult, very challenging. The coronavirus issue that has caused all the social isolation and all the different viewpoints about what we should be doing, what we uh, shouldn't be doing uh, is happening. And then, of course, all the racial tension and the uh, police officers and what you're feeling right now as you deal with these issues. Uh, man, I, I can't even hardly imagine uh, what your thoughts might be and what you're dealing with. And so today, I want to I wanna say a word of encouragement. Uh, I know God is not the author of confusion. The devil is. And every sensual work, every dividing, and every work that can bring strife into our lives is from the evil one. God means good to happen. God means uh, for there to be order. And, and so my prayers are with everyone today that God, what looks like evil, God can take and turn it into good. And one of the great stories of the Bible is found in Genesis chapter 16. And it's about one of the names of God that we find revealed here to us as El Roi. He's the God who sees. And the story is of a girl by the name of Hagar. Uh, she's been abused. She's been misused. And as a result, she is having to flee, uh, trying to get back to her homeland, Egypt. And she's in the wilderness, but that's when God finds her. And God shows up and speaks to her as she's in tremendous distress, d tremendous pain uh, with all that's happened in her life. But God shows up. And, and one of the things that uh, I'd like to just share with you today is you maybe feel distressed, as you feel dismayed, as you feel like, wow, what is all this going to come to in my life? God sees right now, right where you're at, the need in your heart, your mind, your life, your emotions, your family. He even sees your future. But He wants you to know He's right here now with you. And so this lady, as she's dealing with her heart uh, pain, she hears the word of the Lord saying, where are you coming from? Where are you going? What are you doing? And, and God just says, hey, listen, I've got a plan for your life. I've got a purpose for your life. And he gives her uh, his specific will here in Genesis chapter 16. And when she gets encouraged by the presence of the God who sees her, she actually says in verse 13, so she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her, you are the God of seeing. In the Hebrew, that's El Roi. You are El Roi. You are the God who sees, the God of seeing. So I just want to remind you today, God sees you. God hears you. God knows you. God is present tense, ready to help you at this time of need. And you know, as we learn the names of God, it says in Psalms 9, 10, and they that know his name will put their trust in him. For you, O Lord, do not forsake those who seek you. Today, uh, again, you know the message of Straight Street. You know the message I've shared so many times is Jesus is the God who sees. Jesus saw the tears of the friends of Lazarus after he died. And he was moved with compassion and Jesus himself wept. So today, uh, be encouraged. Uh, despite all the discord and strife and hurt and pain that is all around us today, I just want you to be encouraged. You have a God who sees. You have a God who cares. You have a God who knows. Respond to Him by saying, Lord, I'm going to trust you to help me. I'm going to trust you to help me deal with this situation. I'm going to trust you to give me the patience I need. And may, as you do that, you sense His presence and you respond like Hagar did in her dismay and her distress. And she found and said, Oh God, you're the God who sees. And she found a God who loved her. And today, I hope you will too. Well, God bless you. I want you to be encouraged. I'm praying for you. 
And I just want to pray for our community as we close this time together. And Father, I thank you for, Lord, the many people that have been a part of First Thursday with us at Straight Street over the years. Lord, thank you for those in the probation officers that are showing up in the police officers, the first responders and other leaders and others in our community from every field of vocation and work and life. Thank you. And I pray for our community today. I pray for reconciliation. I pray for a spirit of hope. I pray, I pray for a spirit of understanding. I pray for a spirit of being sensitive. I pray for a spirit of patience. Lord, you can give us that today. And I'm just asking that you would help us. We desperately need your help. Lord, we thank you for all that you're going to even do as we respond to the God who sees. And we love you, we worship you, and ask you to help us today. And we do pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Know, he, know that God is the El Roe, the God who sees, and He wants to help you right now. God bless.